Hungarian folk tales. The poor man's nine hens and one cockerel. Once upon a time, there lived a poor man and his wife. And they had more children than there are holes in a sieve. The poor man only possessed two small oxen, and he went ploughing with them in the forest every day. He was ploughing there one day when he heard a kind of crying. A big brown bear was wrestling with a tiny rabbit. The poor man laughed heartily when he saw the peculiar sight, but this made the bear very angry indeed. You'll see, poor man, I shall eat you up, oxen, plough and all. This frightened the poor man who said, Oh bear, please don't eat me up, for I have a great number of children, and if I don't plough this field, there won't be any wheat, and then what will the little children eat? Please wait until the end of the day, when my ploughing will be done, and you can come here and eat me up, oxen, plough and all. Very well, the bear said, and it walked off into the forest. So the poor man went on ploughing, but he felt so sad that he did not know what to do with his sorrow. And as he stood feeling sad, a fox appeared. Hey, poor man, why are you so sad? How could I not be? And he told the fox about his promise to the bear. Oh, there's no need to be sad. What will you give me if I help you? Do you have chickens in your yard at home? As a matter of fact, we do. My wife keeps nine hens and a cockerel. Well, if you give them all to me, I shall tell you what to do. I'll happily give them to you, and you can come and collect them later today. Poor man, I shall return this evening and hide behind a big bush. And then, when the big brown bear comes, I will... Do you think that will work? It will. Mm. Poor man, I have come to eat you up, oxen, plough and all. Very well, eat me. <coughs> What's that noise, poor man? I don't know. Hunters might be coming with guns to shoot you. Oh, hide me somewhere. I'm so frightened. Here's a sack. Hide in here. So the bear hopped into the sack without a second word and the poor man tied the sack tight. Then the fox came out from behind the big bush. and he began to fill the sack. What's in the sack, poor man? Nothing but a big noggin of firewood. I don't believe it. But that's what's inside. Well, if it is a noggin, as you say, chop it with your axe. So then the poor man hit the sack hard with his axe and the big brown bear was killed in an instant. Well then, poor man, you promised to give me nine hens and a cockerel, and I shall go to collect them later tonight. So the poor man went home, unharnessed his oxen, went into the house, ate his supper, and went to his bed for the night. All of a sudden, he heard a knocking on the door. Who's there? "'Tis I, the fox. I've come to collect my nine hens and a cockerel. Very well. Wait until I get up and put my trousers on. But the poor man had no intention of dressing, and instead he said to his children, Bark, children, bark. What was that? 
We forgot to lock our door before we went to bed and all the dogs came in from the yard to sleep under our bed. Now they can smell a fox and they want to eat you up. Oh, 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 hold them, poor man, let me run away. Bark louder. You see, Fox, I have learned something from you after all, said the poor man. And he turned to the wall and fell fast asleep. And he and his wife and all their children lived happily ever after. Thank you.